Oh, we're splitting bamboo. You have more time to manipulate the line. Start rolling it out like this, okay? Hello everybody and welcome to Factory to Field. This week we're headed to Hillsdale, Michigan to the Picard Bamboo Fly Rod Company. Hey Becky, this is home to some of the most beautiful handcrafted fly rods you're going to see anywhere. Okay then, let's go to the shop with Paul Ramp as he joins John Picard as he demonstrates how to build these bamboo fly rods. All right. Not all factories are large. Actually, John's factory is in his backyard. He's one of the few people in the world that hand makes fly rods out of Tonkin bamboo. John, what are we doing today? Well, we're splitting bamboo, Tonkin bamboo, to make uh, some fly rods. How many times do you got to split this? Um, roughly, it's split into uh, a pole of bamboo, usually yields about 24 strips that are about a quarter inch wide, three eighths okay. inch wide. And will that make one fly rod? That'll make one fly rod. Can I split some? Um, sure. <laughs> Not much to it. Take, Take the heavy this, duty line big this knife. Up. Yep. Just eye it as best as you can. If there's a split already there, which there is, yep. then you just put this and uh, line it up in that little split and then just tap on it with the hammer until so you get to the node. You can actually walk it, bend the, bend the knife back and forth like, uh, like this. Okay, really crank it. There you go. All and right, and then you'd want to stand it up, and you can actually just pull it down like that, then twist it. There you go. And then you get down. A little bit off. <laughs> Holy cow! They're kind of, that's tough. Uh huh. <laughs> it started big up here, now it's getting uh -huh. smaller. Is that a good sign? No. <laughs> Well, that's, that okay. kind of turned out really bad. Mm -hmm. What do you do with the bad stuff? Burn it. You burn it? <laughs> yep. Well, you know what? You show us how it's supposed to be done. All right. Splitting bamboo actually is very difficult. In fact, it takes years of experience just to learn how to do that. John's done it so well, he still has all 10 fingers. This craftsman has it down to a science, methodically splitting each and every rod he makes by hand. So now that they're all split, what's the next step after this? Well, we go in and we get them prepped to run through the roughing mill. We have to take the okay. nodes off and the inner dams off and point up the ends so okay. they can run through the mill. Let's go see how that's done right now. sander for now. So his next step would be what? We run it through that mill. This mill right here. Mm -hmm. Next stage is going to be 
actually drying them. We're drying the strips, taking the moisture out of the strips. You need to take the moisture out to, um, there's two types of cells in bamboo. You got your, I hope I don't murder them, an intracellular and an extracellular okay. that hold moisture. The extracellular is the, mo the moisture in the air that moves fle freely through stuff year round. Okay, the other moisture is like what they do to kiln dried wood. They take that intracellular moisture out that's inside the cell. When they dry that out, it's kind of like the process of uh, prunes. Like you, once you take a uh, plum and you put it through nitrogen and take all the moisture out of it from the in inner cells, right. it will never be a plum again. I don't care if you throw it in water and soak it, it's never going to soak up that water right. in those cells once it's been, once you take that moisture out. And the same thing with bamboo. The, you need to take the moisture out from in the cell itself so it will be resilient it causes like uh, like i mentioned before with the kiln dried lumber um if you ever had a green piece of wood you know it's really soft and right. bendy but you get something that's dry it's stiff and rigid and resilient and that's the same thing with bamboo okay so now we're going to put it in the oven and bake her and lid on and let her go and a little vent hole and up here you'll see some steam will come out of it once the steam's done once it's done okay it back out and uh, so we've got about it. 15 about minutes 15 minutes yep that's just in time for lunch. Good. We've got a little break till they're done cooking. And you guys take a little break. We'll be right back.